Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a speaker replacement on a MacBook Pro 13 inch. The model for this is A1502, and let's get started. So, the first thing I need to do is to remove the back plate. I'm using a pantalope screwdriver here. Go ahead and remove all the screws. The process for this speaker replacement is not that difficult. It can be quite easy for some of you guys, but if you have some challenge to do the replacement, just you know follow the video step by step and I'll do my best to do the explanation and hopefully you can follow along with it. Alright, so there are four screws on the top, two uh, one screw on each side and there are four screws at the bottom. Once you remove all the, all the screws and go ahead and pop open the back plate. So as you can see I lift the back plate up. That's how you pop it up and just put the back plate on the side. Now here you can see the entire computer. So the CPU fan. This is the um, SSD drive, the solid state drive that store all your information in here. Uh, this is the motherboard There's no RAM that you can do a replacement on upgrade because the RAM is actually soldered onto the motherboard Okay, so here's the battery and let's go ahead and change out the speaker for this process So you can see that there's one speaker here and the connector is on the top and the second speaker is right here and the connector go underneath onto this part here. So we need to remove the flex cable here first. So go ahead and get your torque screwdriver. This is a T5. I remove the two screws and the bracket will just come right out. And then the next thing is I'm using my fingernail. Go underneath the flex cable and pop it up. So I lift it straight up and that's how I pop up the flex cable here you can see the speaker is exposed the next thing I do is to get the plastic prime tool, tuck it underneath that cable and then I lift it up as well so they are kind of like a Lego is snap onto when once you're in a right bracket it will just snap onto and to remove it you just pop it up Okay, now here is the speaker. Let's go ahead and remove it. So there's one screw. This is the second screw and the third one is at the bottom here. Once you have the three screws removed, you can actually quite easily lift the broken speaker up. Okay, now let's find a replacement. So here's the replacement I got and what I'll do is I'll have the parts in the description below. You can click on the link. It will direct you to either eBay or Amazon and this is where you can find a replacement speaker. Okay, so we need to make sure the right speaker go to the right size of it. Um, so this is the left speaker. As you can see the cable is slightly longer. And let's go ahead and do the replacement. So move the old one away. The new one you want to go ahead and slide it in at the bottom right corner first. So slide it in and that's how you push it down and have the speaker sit in its position. Okay, so now the speaker is sitting here in the right position. What I'll do is I'll align the cable, make sure the cable go underneath this flex cable and at this point here, I'll just go ahead and connect the speaker. So make sure it's in the right bracket and I just push it in. And that's how you secure the speaker cable. Now the next part is I need to put this flex cable back on. So once I have that aligned in the right position, I press it, it will click back on just like a Lego. Do not forget the bracket. So have the bracket back there.
Okay, put the two screws back on. All right, now you're gonna come back and finish up the speaker. There are three screws on that. The screws are torque screwed and you're using a T5 screwdriver. Now we are done. So we are done with this speaker here. And the next speaker is I need to replace this one here. So it's the same drill. First you need to have the cable to be lift up, disconnect from the motherboard. As you can see I'm doing it very gently. I'm not scraping the motherboard. You do not want to scar the motherboard here and damage any component. Okay, I'm using a plastic prying tool, slightly tilt and not touching the motherboard while I'm lifting it up. Now once the cable is disconnected, let's go ahead and remove the screws. So again, there are three screws that's holding on to. Okay, so there are three screws. Now what I can do is I can lift it up and then that's how you remove the bad speaker. To install a good speaker, again, you want to slide it at the bottom right corner first. But before I do that, I do see some dirt here, some dirty stuff, garbage. Let's just move that on the side, clean it out a little. Now I'm gonna slide it in. And the same time, the cable here has to go underneath that. So go ahead and slide it in as well. Now you have the thing in the right position. Go ahead and put the screws back on. Okay, so once all the three screws are in the right position, and what you want to do is to make sure you have the cable right in the right bracket and press it down. It feels like a Lego when you press it down, it snap on. Now at this point, we are pretty much done. So we have replaced the two broken speakers. Okay, and once you put the back cover and all the screws, and you should be, you know, have no problem with the new speakers. You do not know you do not need to go through the settings. You do not need to change anything. You just plug it in and you're fine. All right. So let me put the back plate back on here. So in this video, if you have any question, please comment below. Um, if you want me to make videos for different laptops or maybe desktop uh, if you're interested to see an upgrade on a computer anything that you like to like me to show and help you with please comment below send me an email or maybe just um, follow me on Facebook or Instagram go ahead and send me a message and say hey I need help with this and of course I'm more than happy to make the video and help you with, with whatever I can. And if this video is helpful, and if you like it, please click the like button, or smash the like button. That really is gonna help me to keep me motivated to make more of this type of video for you. All right, until next time, I wish that your repair is a success, and please take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.